Hey guys, Foresight here. Today I'd like to share with you my thoughts on the new Battlefield 1 map currently on the CTE. Press dirt to her <laughs> along with its netcode. Listen, I'm sorry about the pronunciation, okay? So, initially when booting up into the map, the first noticeable thing is just how bright the map is. Is this a morning map or a night map? I mean, you can't even try to compare it to the night map in Battlefield 4. Now, fair enough, there you have RNV and flare scopes, so obviously you can't make things too dark here. I just think they gotta darken it a little bit more as well. Now, I must say that despite the fact that this is a night map, the skybox looks amazing, and I often found myself just standing there staring at the sky. Now, with regards to the capture points, I felt like they are way too close together. And I mean, it literally took less than a minute to go from flag to flag. So you would often leave a flag just to see the enemy is starting to cap it. Now, for the most part, they did feel okay-ish. Now, in terms of the capture radius, the majority seemed to be decent enough. However, the C flag is just way too small. All it takes to wipe out everyone on that C flag is a little bit of airburst mortar. The overall layout is pretty decent, I mean at no point did I feel as though I was boxed in or forced into a choke point, simply because there are so many flanking routes. I really like this, however it is not without its downsides, the main one being people popping out of nowhere and shooting me in the back. I can't fucking count how many times this happened to me, really frustrating shit. Um, vehicles, well I didn't really find much of an issue here as there aren't that many to be honest. And as most players were running around with assault kits, there were plenty of players to make quick work of them. There was an addition which I really thought was helpful and that's the grenade resupply counter. I hated having to stand around without knowing exactly how long would it would take to resupply from an ammo crate. Uh, there was a minor bug which I saw happen several times and that's spawning into an out of bounds area. At least then you would only have to take like 5 steps forward and you would be back in bound. Now onto a topic that infuriates many, myself included, and that's the netcode. Now since there are no CTE servers in SA and even less players to populate them, I had to play on European servers, so of course my ping is over 200 milliseconds. Now as far as I know, DICE has updated the CTE with the new per region threshold settings for server side hit detection. So that's 130 milliseconds for the US and European servers and 200 milliseconds for everywhere else. Now in my case I'm playing from South Africa on European servers and because my ping is higher than 130 milliseconds I have to lead my shots by 70 milliseconds. Well at least that's based on DICE's example within the patch notes. So if I'm to understand this correctly, this means that even though geographically speaking and in terms of the latency, European servers are the closest to me with the lowest international ping, I would have a better experience with the lag compensation mechanic if I just joined a server in the Middle East, by which my ping is almost 300 milliseconds. Yo, I just, I don't understand this logic. It's like they're trying to group together the portion of the player base that were actually denied servers. So running around I was soon to find that I was really struggling to get kills. It was like my shots were landing everywhere except for on target. It took me a while to adapt to a different playstyle, however I still found myself cursing this game when I knew that my shots were on target but the guy just didn't drop. Let's just hope the guys comes to their senses and at least increases the threshold to 180 milliseconds. Now I know that all of us want to play on our own local servers with low pings and that we all get annoyed when some high ping player kills you from behind cover, however we can't expect everyone without local servers to suffer like this, this is just not right. Everybody pays for this game, thus everybody deserves to play it how it was meant to be played EA. Just give third party hosts permission to host servers again, yeah EA will lose profits on the server monopoly, but at the same time they will have a happy player base, which in turn will lead to increased sales from new people coming in. I would never in a million years recommend this game to a friend if I knew that he was forced to deal with these ridiculous latency issues. Now overall I enjoyed this map immensely, however I have a feeling that not everybody will be getting it. I could be wrong about this, but I assume that as the French army is featured in this map, only those with a DLC or premium pass will be able to play it. Is this just another map to segment the player base, or give owners of just the base game a reason to come back and play this game? We shall have to wait and see. Anyways guys, that's my take on the new night map and netcode changes. What are your thoughts on the new map? Did you love it or perhaps hate it? Most importantly, what would you change about it? 
Let me know in the comments down below. Right? I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Until next time guys, take care of yourselves and have a chilled one.